In the previous lesson, we learned how to prepare a solution by determining how much of the stock solution we use and how much pure water we're going to use. And we're using the unit milliliter. And we also learned that using the equation M1 times V1 equal to M2 times V2. And we know that this right here, this is your stock solution. That's the molarity and the volume of your stock solution. But the volume of the stock solution, we don't know how much we're going to use. We just know that we have a bottle of a stock solution, but we're not going to use all of it in most cases. But we know that we need to have specific amount of volume and specific molarity. And this would be the solution that we are going to make. And if we read this problem, you have to be careful. We have to pay attention. For example, a chemistry student has a bottle of a stock solution that contains 100 milliliter of 6.0 molarity of sulfuric acid. When you read this, you kind of ignore this volume, completely ignore it. Okay? But we know this is your molarity one because we are talking about the stock solution. The student would like to prepare 95 microliter. So in this case, we are not using milliliter, but we are using microliter. And we want this solution to be what? At 0.1 molarity sulfuric acid. So again, the same thing, you are always solving for V1. To do that, you just bring this over here. So M2, V2 divided by M1. And all you have to do is just substitute in. Well, where's your M2? M2 is right here. It is 0.1, okay, zero. What about your volume? I want specifically 95. So for now, we're not going to put in the unit or anything like that. 95.00. What about our M1? M1 is just right there. So 6. So that's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is now use a calculator and solve that problem. Now you just multiply and divide. 0.1 times 95 divided by 6. This gives us 1.58 microliter. Now do you see this doesn't have to be in milliliter or liter. It's just going to be the same unit that we have right there. And that's the beauty behind it. So this is 1.58. To get this in terms of water, remember we want a total of 95. 95 is your total, okay? This is your total volume. But, but this total right here is made up of the stock solution in pure water. So we just minus. And this gives you the microliter in water. And this gives us what? 93.42. So don't get tricked by the unit volume. And remember to read the problem carefully. And again, always ignore the volumes.